If you think Space Wars looks like a fun game, but you don't have any idea how to play, this guide is for you. Now, I just started playing Space Wars about a week ago, so no advanced tips here. I'm just going to give you enough information to get into the game and have some fun. To start with, obviously, you're going to select your team. I'm going to go with the United States. And then from here, you get to select your spawn point. Looks like this team's actually about to win, but uh, you can select your spawn point from over here. Or if you don't want to like have to hide the chat, you can like click over here. Um, we're going to spawn here at C, and we'll get into the details of this a little bit later. Um, you spawn in. You'll notice you have an assault rifle. We'll get to that later. If you step out here, every base has a little spacecraft menu you can go to. Obviously, you hit F. And you have um, you have money you can spend on different ships. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with the light fighter. And you jump over here. You get in here. Hit E to take off. And then it's E to, like, land if you want to. And then you go out. Um, use the W key to speed up. S to slow down. Uh, pretty straightforward there. Mouse button to shoot your lasers. If you hit the number two button, you can turn on your missiles and it'll start like locking on if it finds a target. And then you hit F to fire your missiles. Just like that. As you can see, I don't have any missiles left now. So we're going to go back over to this outpost. And you can see where those ships are landing right there. That's like a repair dock. Repair and reload. You go over there and when you get close enough, you saw the prompt. You hit E. You'll land here. And then we're restocked on missiles. Nice. So we get back up. Almost hit that. By the way, if you run into things, you can crash. So try not to run into things. Um, let's get into a little bit of space combat here. There's a strike fighter. There's the missiles. You kind of want to get a little bit closer than this with, before you fire a missile. All right, they already took them down. Um, regular guns do not affect like these big ships right here. And we'll, I'll show you the big ships here in a minute. Yes, there's a missile coming after me. Reg like I said, regular guns don't affect those. Missiles do, but for the big ships like that, you really want to go and grab another big ship of your own. Now, as you can see here from our spawn menu, we have spacecraft carrier and battle cruisers. There's a big flagship you can spawn in. They're super expensive, but they're game changers. Let's go to the spacecraft carrier. And then someone's actually driving this. If you go down here... Oh, no one's... Okay... Actually, that's even better. So we're going to drive this. This is our ship now. And then from here, we can get into our shield systems. Um, if you hit C or hit, click this button right here, it'll bring up your shield system. And as you can see, it, the different ones say like front shield, 150% stronger shield for the front, but 100% weaker for sides and rear. We're going to turn that on because, you know, we're facing directly toward them. So, like, if they shoot directly at us, it's going to hit the shield. And that's one thing you'll want to keep in mind as you play the game is the shields. Um, like if I turn this way, I want to bring up the right shield or if there was like a bomber coming after me, one of the little bomber fighter things, you could hit C, you turn on your round shield and that'll protect all sides evenly. The aircraft carrier does have guns. The battle cruiser and battleships actually have cannons on them that you can get. And then some of those, um, like the frigates and stuff like that also have cannons, depending on what you get. Really helpful thing about the spacecraft carrier is that as you saw, I spawned in on here. So this is like... So this is actually really helpful for your team if you get one of these. A little bit of strategy here. What I like to do is like get close but not too close to one of the enemy bases or an outpost. And just kind of hide behind one of these asteroids. And then I'll make it where your team can spawn in on the aircraft carrier. And see this guy, Solid Snake, he's about to go get a ship. Let me see if I can change. There we go. Yeah, he's got a bomber there. He's about to run up there. And so I'm going to stop right here so he can get... Oh. Let's try that again. Oops. Anyways. All right, see, we're at this base. I'm going to turn on left shield. I'm going to stop so he can get his so he can get his bomber. And with the bomber, you see that turret right there? That's actually a second seat. I think that's one of the only smaller ships that have a second seat. But a lot of these, like the Corvette over there, a lot of the, the bigger ones have a second seat. I don't think the Corvette does either. But, like, as you get bigger, especially the battle cruiser, the battle cruiser and the battle ships both have multiple seats that people can sit in. And then we just won. As far as how to win the game, you saw that. Um, their base is now destroyed because they were attacking it and we can hold all the control points, the outposts and stuff. So that's how you win the game. If you've played like Zeppelin Wars, Naval Warfare, any of the Battlefield games or similar games like this, it's basically the same concept to win. Capture all the points and then for this one you also have to destroy the enemy base. Alright, so we're in the loading screen right now, waiting for the next game. GG's everyone. Alright, skipping forward a bit here, a new round has started. I'll go ahead and join the Soviet Union this time. 
and then you can see you can spawn in over here. Um, if you spawn where it says spacecraft, that's where you get like your little, um, they call them planes, the little small fighters. But if we go to ship, that's where your bigger ships are, the frigates and the flagships. You can see that right there where the star is. That's where the battleships and the big ships are. We can't afford those yet. We'll have to go out and like earn ourselves some money. Oh, the spacecraft. Okay, usually that costs $1,000. I guess our first one's free. Or I don't actually know what happened there. Usually it costs a thousand dollars though. That one helps your team a lot. These big battleships and battle cruisers those help a lot. We'll get more into that. For now, I'm going to spawn in one of these ships. Um, see Corvette, and then it shows like uh, what kind of weapons it has and like small, mobile, and lightly armored patrol vessel. Blah 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 blah. You know, it gives you a little description about them and how they're used. I can spawn in a destroyer. That's a medium one. Two light cannons, two MGs, and one asset tube. I don't know what that is, but we're going to spawn this in. All right, and um, good time to talk about gravity. If you hit the E button or click over here, you can switch your gravity. See, I can jump higher now. If I hit it again, it goes to zero gravity. And then if you hit Q, it turns it down, so you can go like that. Before I get too much further, also, if you hit control, you get a jet pack. Very useful later on. And then you hit control to turn it off. Also, you see those cannons right there? You can get into those and attack enemy ships. Those are very useful, especially at the outpost for defending those. Those can be destroyed, by the way. So be careful if you're in those and you see enemy ships attacking you. But they're super strong. They can be destroyed, but they can also they also uh, repair themselves over time. Very slow ship, as you can see, but also very powerful. So we got these cannons. Uh... Yeah, it's got two cannons on it. Very helpful. And then if we hit two... We have ourselves a machine gun with unlimited ammo. If we hit three, we got this big missile here. There we go. First time I've actually used the missile. That thing's pretty nice. All right, and you see there, there's a scout craft right there. Usually you're not going to be able to hit those with just a frigate. Unless they're like really close to you, it's much easier to take down like the little planes. Um, if you have like a, one of the fighter jet things. And that's why if you want to get strategical with it, you can have like a fleet of frigates and, and missile launcher things like this. And then you could have the little fighters defending you from the bombers because the little bombers will come out and try to blow up your ships and stuff. It's kind of like modern air warfare. You always have the big bombers accompanied by fighter jets. So we're going to go over here and looks like that torpedo bomber's down. They already have B, but we can go over here and kind of help support it. There's a generator right there you can actually destroy. All right, we're going to turn on another left shield because there's just a thing over there. Let's see if we can take it down. Yeah, we got it. Assist. We got a fighter right there. We're going to hit two, switch to machine gun, see if we can take it out. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We're not doing too well here. Let's go right shield. I'm going to hit that thing with cannons. Oh, and yeah, if um, kind of similar to the little ships. If you stay right here... Sit still to repair, and you know, it's repairing in three, two, blah, blah, blah. It's about to repair. We got a fighter over there. Let's see if we can take it down. This thing's not as accurate, not as good for taking down the jets, like I said, as the little fighter jets and stuff, but we can see what we can do. We got someone in the guardian cannons. All right, we are completely healed up now. Let's get back out there. We're going to flip on our front shield. Hold on, hold on. All right, we're getting some hits. We're getting some hits. We're getting some hits. All right, they're down, they're down. They're spiraling out of control. Nice. And see, we got this destroyer. We got another destroyer over here. Very helpful to have teammates with us. You can always take a look up here to see what outposts we control. It looks like someone is actually, someone's either taking or defending C. Yeah, if you see it blinking, that means people are fighting over one of them. From time to time, you'll see them going up or down with your team's color. Get ourselves a... All right, let's switch to round shield. Protect us all around from this little fighter. Now the fighter can't hurt us except for missiles. Fighters usually are not a threat, but if you see anything with bomber in the name, then you definitely want to watch out. See, he's trying to attack me, but it's not doing anything. Let's see if I can take him down. Dang! Now that was a bomber. That right there was a bomber. I think he's actually out of bombs. He's gonna have to go back and restock. So we're we're not in danger from that thing anymore. We're getting closer to that outpost. If we if I wanted to, sometimes. Sometimes it's best to go back to your uh, last outpost and and uh, repair. In this case, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to keep moving. If we get blown up, I'll switch to a different vehicle, and we'll kind of take a look at those. Let's see if we could switch to this big missile thing and go take them down. Oh, so that's their base. That's actually their base. All right, we're going to hit F to fire the missile. And then we're, while that goes, we're going to switch to our cannons and just take this thing down as much as we possibly can. There goes that missile. Is that going to hit? Dang! 
that did a chunk of damage. And then as you can see, the missile, you know, very powerful, but also has a very long cooldown time. So while we wait for that, we're just going to hammer it with these cannons. This right here is where you really want to save up and get the big battleships and battle cruisers. If you can get those things over there without them getting blown up, which again is where the teamwork comes into play, then you've pretty much won the match. Okay, that thing's coming after us. Yeah, we re Okay, so you just turned on his front shield. All right, I think that one's down. Our base has been under... Okay, so they're attacking our base too. Instead of trying to defend theirs, they're just going to try to... Oh, dang. Let's turn on our front shield. Yeah, they got their cannons up. I am so glad that missed. One more hit and we're down. All right, so we're going to jump out of this. Sometimes it glitches. We're going to hit E a couple of times to turn up the gravity. We'll turn down the gravity, I mean. And hit control, turn on our jetpack. I'm going to hit the number one key to pull out our assault rifle. We're going to go over there. As you can see, there's a dude right there. Hopefully he didn't see us. He didn't see us. Let me see if I can sneak up there. This is usually... Oh, he's that thing's got it aimed right at us. I'm going to go in the air for better. So actually, if you get in close, if you manage to get in close, you can actually go over there and shoot those guys. Like you can see them inside the... Oh, I think I'm taking damage because they're in their spawn point. Yeah. All right. Guardian cannon destroyed. I think you do take damage if you get into their spawn point. I think that's what that was. Someone has a spacecraft carrier. Perfect. See, this is what I was talking about. Always helpful to have a spacecraft carrier nearby. We're going to grab... Um, Let's grab a medium bomber. And then if you grab a medium bomber from like a spacecraft carrier, it just automatically puts you in here. They're all the way over here. Okay, so okay, so we destroyed their base, so we're just focusing on this now. We're just trying to... I don't usually waste a bomber like this, but let me show you. See, if you go in here, it says you're capturing C, and it sets off the alarm, be wary of that. If someone else comes in, it'll stop. It's just like capturing flags and other games. You just kind of hide out and wait here. They will spawn in that room over there. If they come in, the, f the alarm will stop, so pay attention to that. But we're actually getting it. It takes forever to go down, but it goes up quickly. So if you can get it down, it goes pretty well. We got their base destroyed. All we need to do is capture the two outposts we still need. Are they not going to try to stop me? There's a guy right there. Oh, he's he's getting into a ship. So we're not gonna we're not gonna give him a reason to come in here. We're just gonna let him be on his merry. Oh, there's someone coming in now. And I'm not the best at PvP by any means, but I'm gonna try this here. But if you are, by all means, this is basically what you want to do. Maybe I can sit here and wait for teammates to come in. Eliminated piggy three four two. Oh gosh, I'm reloading. I'm reloading. He got me while I was reloading. Your father. Dang, father. Why would you do that? Okay, so they actually took down our spacecraft carrier. Um, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right here. I'm going to spawn in right here. We're going to get back to that base. Let's go with the light fighter this time. Let's go back into the light fighter. And there's a big ship behind us. We're going to see if we can give them some support. I don't have, an, I don't have nearly enough points to get the, the battleship or anything. I might still have that free space... Ca space craft carrier though i don't know what that was but see i can slow it down right here i can just kind of play escort right here if any bombers come after this guy i can go engage and take them down kind of trying to match his speed all right so he's getting hammered by those guardian cannons i'm gonna go over the oh man how did one of them hit me anyway he's getting my missiles ready again i'm not the best at this game but i'm gonna try some basic dodging behind this maneuvers oh any chance those missiles will actually hit? Dang. So they're over there. They were in that cannon. They're trying to hang on. We got their base down, but they got more outposts than us. So it's kind of an even battle still. Not really. I think we're going to win it. I'm going to just keep spawning in the cheap fighters. I'm going to try to not suck at this game anymore and save up some money for like a battleship or something. I don't think we actually need a battleship to win this, but... You know, it would just give us that extra layer of certainty. Someone says they're distracted with C. That means, okay, so I'm going to go to A then. If they're distracted with C, we can go to A and play surprise attack them. Not a whole lot of people in this server. Like, as you can see, we're actually kind of outnumbered here. But we're doing good. For being outnumbered, we're doing pretty good. Looks like maybe they could use some help over there with A. There's a fighter bomber. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I'm a little closer before I start launching missiles. I don't know exactly how the missile launch system works. There's no flares in this game, but 
I'm going to slow it down a little bit so I can turn around. I'm trying to locate him. He located me. I'm just going to use my missiles on the Guardian Cannon. I'm going to abandon ship. Oh, wait. That's my teammates. Oops. Ugh. I think he just killed every... No, there's still one person left in there. No, that was an enemy. That was an enemy. Oh, someone's coming after our base. All right, so we're going to go over here, and we're going to take care of that. I think it was a... Yeah, it looks like it's a big ship, so I'm actually going to fly over here and get the Guardian Cannon. Ran out of jet fuel. That reloads after a little while. Let's hop in here. Dang! I didn't realize just how strong these things were. Oh, they didn't have their shield up. That's probably what it was. Anyways, we're about to take him down. Yeah, someone else has the other Guardian Cannon. We're about to get this thing out of here. They're chasing it off. All right, Corvette eliminated. Let's go grab a big ship and see if we can go bomb the heck out of something. Oh, someone's actually trying to capture it. All right, nice. So we just have to defend them while they do that. get below here so they can't hit us anymore nice perfect they will probably come over to that cannon right there so we gotta be on the look oh they're trying to hit our tail there we go there we go so we're just defending this guy in there whoever's in that guardian cannon isn't trying to oh man where did that come from all right someone just spawned a battleship in we might actually be able to do this now oh they just hit a they just hit us with a missile okay so what you do if your airship, if your aircraft carrier is going down is you go up here, you grab a fighter and you get out. That's pretty much it. All right, I'm actually gonna hop onto this battleship with them and help them out a little bit. Got another cannon back here and let's grab that. All right, enemy down, nice. We just got ourselves bombed. If we can repair, we might be able to go and do something about this. So the cool thing about the battleship is it holds a huge crew. We got people in these cannons. We got the driver driving and in those cannons and people can use these machine guns too. So really cool here. And then just like the spacecraft carrier, it acts as a spawn point so people can spawn directly into the battleship, which is really useful. We're going to see if we can attack C with it and get that. And you may have noticed already right, the building that you capture the flag in is actually destructible. If you hit it enough times, it'll go down. They're trying to take down that heavy cruiser. It's tucking away. Don't blame it one bit. They're spawning in a Corvette. Let's take it down. Shield generator destroyed. All right, so that means we can literally just spawn kill them at their, at their outpost. So we're about to have this thing taken. All right, Guardian cannon down. Let's get that last one taken out, and then we can move in and pretty much do whatever we want. All right, all right. All right, they're all down. We just got hit with a missile. They turned on the big shield at the last second, which is good. That could have been much, much worse. All right, Tobot here is going in, trying to take the trying to take the flag, so we got to cover him. There's a lot of fighters out there. Actually, we could use some fighter support, too. Once you have the battleship out, it's always nice to have fighters and stuff like that defending it. It's much easier to take down enemy bombers and stuff like that with a fighter than it is to try to get these turrets lined up with it. Yeah, they keep spawning in there. We're killing them as fast as we can. As soon as that blue shield around them drops, we take them down. All right. So part of the building is torn open. Oh, someone's trying to spawn in a ship. Let's, ki let's kill them. They missed. Hold up, hold up. Don't let them get that ship spawned in. Got him. Sleuth bug is down. All right, there's a ship right there. Let's spawn kill that thing. They did a good job with that. Tobot's going back down to try to get the flag. All right, so I just jumped out of the battleship to help Tobot. We're going to see if we can take this together. We still got the battleship covering us. We might actually be able to get this. Flag is about halfway to... I think... I think, like, again, like a lot of other games, the more people you have around the flag, the faster it goes down, so this might actually be helpful for us. Got a fighter right outside there. That's probably not good. It's getting intense. This is where it gets a lot of fun. This is where it gets crazy. See if there's anyone at their spawn point. Actually, we're doing a really good job right here. I think, we could just, I think if we just stay right here, we'll get it. All right, they've lost point C. Now we just have to finish capturing it. And as you can see, it's going up a lot faster than it did when we were trying to lower it. They're on B. Oh my gosh, they are on B. All right, so we got to go get them off of B. We got our battleship. We got a destroyer. We got an entire fleet now, so we should be able to get them out of here. I don't know who was in here, but they're dead now. Flag is coming back up. As soon as we get this up, we might be able to go and take A 
and finish this off. I always like to keep on the move just in case people start shooting. I don't like to be a sitting duck for uh, assault rifles or spaceships or anything like that. All right, flag is all the way back up. We're good. I'm going to go grab another ship. All right, we got a battle cruiser coming in now. We got we still have the battleship. I'm going to hop into the battleship and just ride with them. There's the battle cruiser. There's a frigate. Like, there's all kinds of stuff come, coming up. A is not going to stand a chance. There's a Corvette right there, which the Corvette can't hurt us. It only has the machine gun things on it. But it's still worth taking it down for the cash. All right. So, obviously, I'm not doing very well right here because I can't shoot around the ship. So, I'm just kind of sitting and waiting for right now. And we got the entire fleet getting close there. They're all following the big battleship. There's another Guardian cannon we need to take down. He's working on it. Let's clear out a few more infantry and then we'll get down there and get it. Yeah, they're going to be spawning there like crazy. They don't want their stuff taken away. They lost point. Wait, someone else. Oh, I think someone's already down there taking it. That works. All right, we got it. And that's how you play the game. 